Hey, January 25th. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Um, I'm John. You know, I think that's the first time I've ever said I'm John uh, on the videos, that is. So anyway, after this rain, I'm, I'm going through and I'm checking these traps. It's unbelievable. These cable anchors are not holding. I lost that one. A dog proof to a coon or a possum. So... <sighs> Yeah, they pull, but not like a coyote. And I've got all these coyote sets out here, so I thought, you know, I'm just going to check. Um, Every one I've touched so far came right out of the ground because the ground is just, it's just mud. Um, I think I'm back to square one. Um, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I was just looking at this one. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm actually standing behind it, but it's just full of mud. Uh, you can see possum tracks <laughs> going right into the trap. Like, what's going on? Uh, you can see the uh, you can see the actual trap too, which is pretty rusty for some reason. I don't know what trap that is even, but uh, you know, I don't even know. So I'm gonna pull this one. This one, you know, it had a cup had a rabbit pull out. And, uh, so we'll see what happens. The cat set that I put out with the feather. You can see that's still flying in the air there. Um, nothing's touched that. That one's good. That's up real high on that little uh, knob of grass. Uh, I did find new a deer run that's just been used like crazy and some dog tracks on it. So I'm actually going to move a snare, which by the way, the ground anchor just pulled right out of. I'm going to double double cable it. I don't have any stakes, but I'm going to double cable it and I'm going to hope that works. If not, I'm going to pull that too. So, all right, got a lot of work to do this morning. I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, well, yeah, that sucker came right out of the ground, just liquid mud right there. Um, your pogo anchor. So, it was a, uh, that was one of those uh, number twos, uh, just a regular Duke number two. This is an old Victor square jaw. I pulled that one a little while ago. I'm going to go and see if I can double stake that new snare. Um, we'll see. I just checked that snare there. That's actually in real good. So I'm going to leave that one. Although nothing since the day I put that there, nothing has walked down that trail. Um, they're using this trail, which, man, there is just nothing to that trail is just wide open all the way out um, unless I created my own foliage on the side in which case I mean that's what I did to that one and nothing ever used it again so I'm just gonna leave it be I'm gonna dig all this bait out of here and basically just put it in a pile right there um, I do have this snare down right between us and that bigger tree there's a smaller tree there and I got a snare hanging there um, it's wired to the tree though, so I'm not worried about that one. All right, I'm gonna keep going and get some work done, thanks. One thing's for certain out here, <laughs> rain sucks, especially when there's snow on the ground. Uh, this is that deer trail I found with the dog tracks in it. You can actually see the dog track right there. You see I'm shaking because I'm so freaking cold. Um, oh man, I almost fell over. Got my snare in right there. I'm not even sure if it's showing up. Yeah, it's there. You can see that trail going out, out to that field right there where they cross over. Oops, sorry. And that's it. I'm going to slide out of this place. I came in from the side this time. Oh, a little close up. I came in from the side and I didn't go down that trail. I walked down it the first time until I saw dog tracks and I turned around. But um, So instead of just standing and messing up that trail, I got in on the side this time. Who knows? We'll see. I'm, you know, as discouraged as I am, I'm still out here. Uh, today's day 97, by the way. A couple more days and I'm at 100 days straight trapping. Uh, man, what a dream. I know I've told you this before, that this was my grandpa's life. Um, he died when I was like 12, 13 years old. I was just a little kid. Uh, let me tell you, he taught me a lot back then. And just doing it now... Um, 97 straight days uh, I'm using his traps in a lot of places um, 
not so much now for coyote because I went and bought some that are a little more um, modern and not the springs aren't quite as weak but hey I'm having a great time uh, I don't care if I catch much I would like to catch a coyote I'd like to catch a fox I'd like to catch a mink an otter I don't really care about a beaver I've seen enough of them up in the UP but um, yeah I'm just glad to be out here just kind of some nostalgic uh, moments and I'm at a place in life where I can do it so all right I'll meet you at the next spot all right well I'm at that cat set and it dawned on me that if I don't check this I'm gonna it's gonna bother me um, yeah it looks great and all but what if what if that cable anchor pulls out I don't think it would because it's up so high but man I would rather remake this set than lose a dog or a cat so I am gonna I'm checking all my sets today I'm pulling the straps and checking the cables and I double staked that last snare I put up and man alive I couldn't budge that sucker I'm actually not even sure how I'm gonna get I got some angle iron back at the house I'll have to grab that out here um, but anyway so I'm gonna redo this baby real quick and uh, I'm gonna put another cable anchor in so you know I don't know if I ever posted the uh, possum Johnny possum fang cable anchors um, Stu at Coon Creek you know he uses the pogos uh, this is a, a little bit smaller than what he uses um, I am gonna go get some two inch now that this is all going down like this but anyway so instead of doing like he does um, I just drill a hole in the washer and I loop my cable through so it actually when it drives in one-handed operation on a camera that's exciting when it drives in you know it drives in like that I cut a little notch in it for my driver my driver is a uh, um, it's actually like a tent stake um, from I got it from Rural King but uh, it's just meant for a tie down for like big tents and stuff it's got the little ring on it I just put a strap on it to get a little more leverage when I'm trying to pull it out of the ground uh, I uh, I just took the angle grinder and zipped a little line up there it's got a point to it I use this thing for making all my holes and everything so anyway this fits real nice in there but so yesterday I love it when my camera shuts off so I was looking at uh, some wolf fangs because I was so mad but what I thought is I'm gonna make some possum fangs so I just took a pair of pliers and I bent those a little bit and it, I, I used it just now on that uh, on that cable restraint let me tell you it works great it sets like instantly it grabs a hole when you pull up on this man that baby just grabs right a hold so anyway I'm gonna redo this real quick thanks for bearing with me